Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice trigonometric equation 3 to the power sin squared x minus cos squared x is equal to 3. We need to find all possible values of x within the range of 0 to 2 pi radians or 0 to 360 degrees. So, let's start by adding 1 to both sides 3 to the power sin squared x and we add 1 at left side minus this cos squared x cos squared x is equal to 3 and we add 1 at the right side next 3 to the power sin squared x. Now, by using this trigonometric identity sin squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. If we move this cos squared x to the right side, then sin squared x will be equal to 1 minus cos squared x. So, we replace this 1 minus cos squared x with this sin squared x. So, here we write plus sin squared x is equal to 3 plus 1, 4. Now, we move this plus sin squared x to the right side. 3 to the power sin squared x is equal to 4 minus sin squared x. Now, from here we divide both sides by 3 to the power sin squared x. At right side we divide by 3 to the power sin squared x. Now, this 3 to the power sin squared x will be cancelled out with this 3 to the power sin squared x and at left side left 1 is equal to by using this power rule 1 over a to the power n is equal to a to the power negative n. This 4 minus sin squared x over 3 to the power sin squared x can be written as 4 minus sin squared x times 3 to the power negative sin squared x. Now, we write this expression at the left side and this one at the right side like this 4 minus sin squared x times 3 to the power negative sin squared x is equal to 1. Now, we want to use here Lambert W function that is W function of A times E to the power A is equal to A. To use the Lambert W function, we must have same expression here and same expression here. But for now, here we have a negative sin squared x and here we have 4 minus sin squared x. To make this uh, negative sin squared x uh, same as this uh, 4 minus sin squared x, uh, we multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to the power 4. At left side, we multiply by 3 to the power 4. And by using this power rule, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n this expression will become 4 minus sin squared x times 3 to the power 4 minus sin squared x is equal to 3 to the power 4 is 81 and 81 times 1 81. Now, we have same expression here 4 minus sin squared x and same expression here 4 minus sin squared x. 
but to use the lambda w function we must have e in place of this 3 as you can see in this lambda w function we have e here so to bring e in place of this 3 we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a according to this property e to the power ln of 3 is equal to 3 so we replace this 3 with this e to the power ln of 3 then this expression will become 4 minus sin squared x times e to the power ln of 3 whole to the power this power 4 minus sin squared x is equal to 81. Now by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power ln of 3 by this power 4 minus sin squared x. Then this expression will become 4 minus sin squared x times e to the power 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 is equal to 81. Now here we have 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 and here we have only 4 minus sin squared x. To make this 4 minus sin squared x same as this 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3, we multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 3. At left side we multiply by ln of 3. So ln of 3 times 4 minus sin squared x will become 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 times e to the power 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 is equal to 81 times ln of 3. Now here we have same expression 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 and here we have same power of e 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3. We can use the lambda w function at the left side but we want to use the lambda w function on the right side too. So first let's make this right side such that we can apply lambda w function at the right side too. This left side remains same and we work on this right side. This 81 times ln of 3 will be equal to we can write this 81 as 27 times 3 times this ln of 3. Next by using this natural log rule m times ln of a is equal to ln of a to the power m. This 3, this 3 will become the power of this 3. So we write this expression as 27 times ln of 3 to the power 3. Next 27 times this ln of 3 to the power 3 is same as ln of 27. Now to use the lambda w function we must have e in this expression. So to bring e in this expression we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property e to the power ln of 27 is equal to 27. So we replace this 27 with this e to the power ln of 27. We write this ln of 27 first is equal to ln of 27.
27 times we replace this 27 with this e to the power ln of 27 and at the left side we have this expression 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 times e to the power 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3. Now we have same expression here 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 and here we have same power of e 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 and at right side we have same expression here ln of 27 and here we have same power of e ln of 27. So we apply Lambert W function on both sides of this equation. And according to Lambert W function, a times e to the power a is equal to a. Lambert W function of this expression is equal to this 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3. So at left side left, 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 is equal to and Lambert W function of this expression is equal to this ln of 27. So at right side left ln of 27. Next 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 is equal to we can write this ln of 27 as ln of 3 to the power 3. Next, 4 minus sin squared x times ln of 3 is equal to, we can write this ln of 3 to the power 3 as 3 times ln of 3. And from here, we divide both sides by ln of 3 at right side we divide by ln of 3. So this ln of 3 will be cancelled out with this ln of 3 and this ln of 3 will be cancelled out with this ln of 3. And we are left with this expression 4 minus sin squared x is equal to 3. Now we move this 3 to the left side and this negative sin squared x to the right side. 4 minus 3 is equal to sin squared x and this implies that sin squared x is equal to 1. Now from here if we take a square root of both sides we get sin of x is equal to plus or minus 1. So, sin of x is equal to 1 and sin of x is equal to negative 1. Now, to find the values of x between the range of 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 360 degrees, we use this graph, we use this graph to find the values of x within the range of 0 to 2 pi radians or 0 to 360 degrees. When sin of x is equal to 1, then this line intersects at this point. Here we get the value of x 90 degrees. So, when sin of x is equal to 1, then x will be equal to 90 degrees. When sin of x is equal to negative 1, then this line intersects at this point and here we get the value of x 270 degrees. So, when 
sine of x is equal to negative 1 then x will be equal to 270 degrees so these are the two solutions of x